Yay! You still want to make your first AR app. In this video, we're gonna go through the basics of how to think through a design for making any type of app, whether it's a game, whether it's augmented reality, or even a startup idea. Again, if you wanna help the YouTube algorithm, hit that like button, leave a comment as well. Uh, and if you especially like what you see, just uh, hit that subscribe button to see more content like this. Oh, and don't forget to see the setup video where we go through all the programs that we need in order to get this journey going. All right, let's play. We want to set little goals along the way that we can just start checking off. A journey of a thousand miles starts with a single step. And thinking of the idea for your app is a good first step. The next thing we might want to do is start fleshing it out. That's as simple as taking a notepad, a pen, and literally word vomiting all your ideas that are in your head into that piece of paper. Doing so will allow you to sculpt out of nothing the idea that you want to bring to life. A pipeline that I sometimes use starts with goals, ideas, hero shots, breakdowns, and then research and further breakdowns. The questions that you might want to ask yourself in each of these steps are, what are my goals? What's the idea or the story that I want to tell? What does the hero shot of my idea look like? And how can I break down my hero shot into smaller bite-sized pieces? And once I have these bite-sized pieces, how do I implement them? Start researching them. What is the easiest thing to do? What is the hardest thing to do? What do I know how to do? What don't I know how to do? You might want to choose the hardest thing to start with because that's going to be the bottleneck and you want to get that out of the way. And once you have one of these components down, break it down even further into even smaller chunks. Now this pipeline, this technique will really work with any type of project, whether it's a startup idea, whether it's an app or a game, for example, Let's say that the story or idea of this game is about a character who's slowly losing their eyesight. Over the course of the game, you have to collect precious metals to fix special glasses that allow them to see. Otherwise, game over. For this idea, we want to close our eyes and try to imagine what the hero shot looks like. I'm thinking our character is jumping midair and they're about to grab a precious metal, but time's running out and their eyesight is getting worse. The screen gets blurry, making gameplay harder. Next, we have to break down our hero shot. It's a platform game, so it's mainly going to be 2D. We have a character that collects items, so we need some sort of inventory system. We also need some sort of controller script that allows our character to move up, down, left, and collect. And we need a mechanic that blurs the screen as a character's eyesight gets worse and worse. And as you think of more hero shots, you break them down into smaller chunks. And there are other mechanics that we want to think about. But once you have your components ready, you can start researching. What's the hardest thing to do? Is it going to be the inventory? Is it going to be the mechanic that blurs the screen? Research what you don't know how to do, and what you do know how to do and figure out where to start. Now the idea stage is a little hard and we could have an entire video of how to brainstorm or brute force ideas. But one popular method is called the scamper method. In this method, the S stands for substitute, the C stands for combine, A for adapt, M to modify, P to put to another use, E to eliminate and R to rearrange. You've probably seen this method used to describe app ideas. Oh, that's the next Airbnb for dogs or that's the Tinder for musicians. In any case, there's many ways to brute force ideas, and maybe I'll do another video about that. For today's video series, my goal was to create a tutorial on how to make a basic augmented reality app to deploy on the iPhone in 2021. Borrowing from my memory of seeing movies or uh, walking by a pond and seeing a mama duck being followed by their baby ducks, I thought, why don't we just make an app where there is a mama bird and there's baby birds trying to catch up to mama bird. The hero shot I thought could be the user tapping on the phone, generating mama birds and baby birds, and the mama birds are flying into the distance and the baby birds are trying to catch up, leaving a trail in their wake. To break this down, we're gonna need a UI element that toggles between the mama bird and the baby bird. We're also gonna need some sort of input management for tapping on the phone and scripts that allow the mama bird to fly up and the baby bird to follow. And of course, we're gonna need 3D models of the mama bird and the baby bird. Because this is relatively simple, each of these components can be tackled in any order, really. But you should probably have some structure before you tackle any one of them. But the best part is once we have everything laid out, it just feels so much better. It feels more, more tangible. It feels like we can actually start doing this. Because a journey of a thousand miles starts with a single step.